What's up, Gemini? This is going to be a 2018 yearly overview. What I'm going to be doing is be uh, two cards for each month, followed by a clarifier. Also, I will not be doing December's content in this video, at least. So let's just get on to it. I already shuffled these cards. I feel like there's a lot to say, June. Hmm. Some of you could be going into the year uh, feeling like you're you're leaving a lot of stuff behind that you don't that you don't want to leave behind but I feel like whatever this is it's going to feel um yeah what did I say leaving stuff behind And bottom of the deck, King of Swords. So I read that as you. You're coming up a lot, actually. So in January, some of you could be, um, well, this could also apply to you right now while I'm recording this, but uh, some of you could be feeling defensive in regards to a marriage or situation that you were involved with somebody in a home dynamic with. Like, if you're married to this person, they're making you feel defensive, or you have to feel like you're on guard all the time. Um, you're feeling very uncomfortable, regardless. That's... In February, I feel like because of deception or something that's happening in this situation that I just spoke about, uh, someone's going to make a decision to move on. You know... Someone's going to make a decision to move on with their life, leave this person behind, or leave whatever is going on behind, dropping the burdens on their back and just saying, fuck it. In March, yeah, charging towards what you want and the recognition that you deserve. You have the, you have the knot of wands here. Not, not a wands. Not a swords. So... Yeah, definitely going towards what you what you want. You could be looking at different ways of making money as too. Hmm. I feel like you know you have to know your self value, or know your worth. In April, you're gonna learn about somebody that. Uh, you are done with period point blank somebody could be doing something or somebody could do something where it's going to make you make this rational decision to move on from this person or you are um going to be moving out of a cycle of just backstabbing just one upmanship that's what i'm seeing Because of what, because of that, and this is for uh, May, and you have you coming up again. So, yeah, because of that, there could be interruptions because all three of these cards popped up.
in reverse. There could be, because of a separation and a union, things are going to be put on delay. And someone's not going to feel like they're content. They're not going to be too happy about it. This could be causing delays in money as well. So delays in money, that's in May. But I feel like it surrounds... Um, and it's funny because you have three cards for me. But I feel like it surrounds a marriage or some type of commitment that someone's involved in. So in June, you have the Queen of Swords here. Someone's going to be feeling left out or someone could be uh, cutting someone off completely. And they're going to be feeling left out in the cold. This could also be you. This, these videos go both ways. So that could be the case. Um... You could possibly be dealing with somebody on and off from the beginning of the year. Someone that you previously dealt with. They're coming up here. This could be them too. That's in June. This is in July. And um. If you're facing court matters or legal issues, it will turn out in your favor around that time, whatever it may surround. Some of you could be going to court over or or have been going to co court over property um, that's owed to you or something that's owed to you. You're going to reap that. You're going to reap the benefit of that. It's going to turn out in your favor. Or some of you could simply be going to court over some type of money issue. So in August, someone is, um, well, all, all right, someone is going to be manipulative and uh, cunning, and it's going to cause confusion, point blank. Someone could try, try to get into somebody's head, um, possibly, do things to turn out in their favor, to reap, like, to benefit themselves, like, they're selfish behavior or someone could be releasing themselves from a toxic person that's in August September someone could possibly be coming in to help you build this build a family uh, build a home or build whatever you have been working on that you need help with that you may think well I could do this by myself but it would be twice as easy if I had someone do it with me someone could be coming in to help you build that after you let go of this toxic person so I'm putting these not only do I read these cards individually I read what is around them too in the spreads so as you go along you can learn that was in September October you're gonna have strength uh, you're gonna have to have patience that's what I'm seeing you're gonna have to have patience with something that you have been working on you could feel like the things are not getting off the ground but um you know, everything is just telling you to be patient. This card is about, okay, now you implemented what is needed for it to take the actions necessary for what you want. And now it's time to sit back and wait. But don't just wait and sit on your ass and do nothing. No, continue to... um continue to do more productive things so learn to be patience patience is needed in October again I'm going to pull clarifiers for each of these so and in November someone is going to be moving on from something that has caused them some type of betrayal 
and for some reason, I don't know why, but I feel like this is the, they're wanting to do this. Or it's still hurting them from moving on. And if this does apply to you, then you need to learn how to love yourself first and realize your self-value. And in December, you guys are going to be overcoming some type of conflicts that's been going on in the home life, in your home life, in your marriage, in, you know, whatever you're involved in this time next year. Difficulties surrounding that, you're going to come to compromises. Now, whether those compromises are in your favor you would have to get a private set up a consultation with me so now I'm going to go ahead and pull another card for each one of these hmm yeah it definitely defeats for actually you know what yeah it definitely defeats around the first of the year and it's going to cause you to go inward and look at yourself and reevaluate the way that you've been handling uh, this situation, Gemini. I feel like this is what this year is meant to teach you to do is, well, let's just look into it. Yeah, debauch. Wow. Lots on your mind. Yeah. All right, and with you doing this. So in January, with you feeling defensive, again, like I said, someone's making you feeling, def someone could make, could be making you feel defensive in your home life. There's a lot of argument, there's a lot of strife. By February, there's going to be defeats in this situation. In March, by you charging forward and getting what you want and realizing your self-value, you're going to be successful. In April, you're going to finally realize that whatever you were involved in was toxic for you and was not good for you. In May... You're going to be hearing from somebody that you probably were, um, or there could be some communication regarding working on a project with somebody, or working on a something that you were involved in previously that things did not work out. Someone wants to reconcile, or someone wants to work with you in business. That's in May, June. By you feeling left out in the cold, this is caused by not feeling like you had enough. Feeling like that you could have done better, but you didn't have enough money. Because this did pop up in reverse. So not feeling like you did have enough money, this could be the reason. Someone could also be feeling fired. Or someone could terminate it from their job. In July, whatever um, legal situations that you will go through, or just in general, there is going to be interference in obtaining these things, or getting things to go in your favor, getting what you want. There's going to be interference in that. In August, because of this manipulation that's going on and this mindfuckery, there is oppression. 
and as a result, someone, like I said, is going to be releasing themselves. This card is all about self imprisonment. And when it and it popped up in this position, so that tells me that someone's going to realize something that they haven't saw for a long time and finally realize that they they were being oppressed. In September, you're going to have victory over working some things and you're going to hope to have well, yeah, you're going to hope to have vic victory over working on some things and implementing the projects that have been going well for you for a long time. Or if there is a person coming into your life to help you, there is going to be victory in that. All right. In October, with this thing that you're waiting on, you could have been waiting on somebody in, that you were once involved with, with or that you haven't spoke with in a long time. You have the card of love. And you could, I'm going to be honest with you, you could be dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, this is September's card, but looking at it right now, they could be offering you to come back in and work on some things in in love. You know, you haven't heard from this person and they're wanting to work on it. Could be a Leo in particular. That's October. November. Because someone is feeling backstabbed and betrayed... They're moving on. They're chew and I feel like this is causing you to. Uh, you're not gonna have any problems in moving on from this. You're gonna cut yourself free completely. That's pretty much black and white. And in December, by you overcoming um, these difficulties that you've dealt with in your home dynamic, Gemini. You're going to be looking towards something new and finally realizing this. Now, whether you... This could go both ways. You know, it could turn out in your favor or it can't. Anything you hear in these videos, it's mutable. So... Yes, by you by you putting in the work and finally uh, working on what conflicts have happened in your home life. Yeah. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. Um, yeah. And until my next one, thank you for watching. And anything that you would like further insights that you heard in this video you can email me in the description below and i will be happy to set you up with something